Hey folks, I'm Derry, and today I'm going to introduce you to CircleCI's Platform Team Toolkit. This toolkit will stop the need to choose between organizational control and team agility. Now you're going to get both. Platform teams are constantly juggling this, scaling without letting pipelines sprawl, enforcing governance without slowing teams down, and giving devs the autonomy they need without putting the burden on them. CircleCI's Platform Team Toolkit helps solve this tension, and you'll see how in this demo. Let's say I'm a dev spinning up a new service. Today, I ping the platform team, I file a JIRA ticket, and I wait for somebody to set up a repo, pipelines, secrets, and guardrails. That's slow, and that's a bottleneck. Let's fix that with a self-service experience. Now, instead of tickets, the developer opens port, cortex, backstage, or whatever internal developer portal your team is using. They could even leverage CircleCI to trigger this process. They'll fill out a short form, choose the template that they want. I'm gonna choose a Python template and give their repo a name. I'll call this a user login service. They hit execute, and now it's coffee time. In two minutes, they'll have a new GitHub repo with boilerplate code. Circle CI will be fully set up, and also guardrails will be baked in. And why are we doing this as a platform team? So developers can operate above the value line, focusing on delivering value to their customers and not wiring infrastructure. And what's happening under the hood here Port is sending a web hook to CircleCI and it's kicking off our provisioning pipeline in our platform team's config project. And what this project is doing is leveraging Terraform to create a GitHub repo from a GitHub template that we have defined that's owned and maintained by that centralized platform team with best practices built in and some Circle CI config already there to help us get up and running. This Terraform then under the hood is creating contexts, it's setting up a Circle CI project, it's creating pipelines, and it's setting a config source. All of this is being done as infrastructure as code leveraging CircleCI's Terraform provider. All hands off and all automated. Let's jump into CircleCI and take a look at the new project, our user login service. If I go back to my organization home, we can see that our user login service has been created and that there's a pipeline already running in it. We just triggered an empty commit here. And what CircleCI is doing under the hood here is leveraging centralized templates defined in that platform team's config repository. You can see there's a baseline workflow here with three jobs, a build, a test, and deploy job. Now, where this is all configured from is our platform team's config. Here we have our Terraform code that defined our infrastructure as code setup that we used the Terraform provider to provision everything in, everything in our development project, we can also see we have some config templates here. So these are config templates that platform teams can provide to their developers to standardize best practices across their organization. In this Python template that our starter template is leveraging, we can see we have a build job, a test job, and a deploy job. Now there's nothing meaningful going on in these jobs, but we see here that they have an override key. And with this override key, developers, our developers are now able to override any of these jobs that the platform team has defined. So the developers have the ability to override the build, the test, and the deploy job here. However, if we didn't want, if we had some governance gates jobs, or maybe we had some security scanning jobs, maybe we don't want the developers to be able to override that. We could simply just remove this key. So with this process, platform teams can decide what is overridable. This is templating and overrides an action. Let's jump into the newly created GitHub repo that the development team will own. This has best practices built in already that we saw defined in our starter template. And we'll notice it already has some Circle CI config that the developers were able to override from the template provided by the platform team. This config is a URL addressable orb, not a published one. 
So developer teams have the flexibility to customize the build as necessary. It should, we already saw the jobs that the developers had the capability to override. And in this use case, they chose to override the build job and also the test job. What you'll notice is that the deploy job has not been overridden. Given that, if we jump back over to the Circle CI UI, what we'll notice in our workflow is that the build job, the test job, now have some meaningful steps. These are the steps defined from that development repo that we just got to take a look at. And what we'll also notice is that the deploy job is just going to inherit the job defined in that centralized location by the platform team. And that's because the developers chose not to override it in this use case. It's the paved path provided by the platform team with the flexibility where necessary for those developers. In our pipeline settings for this project, what we are able to see here is that the config source, again, is that centralized config managed by the platform team, while the checkout source is the developer application, where our developers are going to be working. The developer went from an idea to running a pipeline in just two minutes. No tickets and no delays. The platform team did not need to get involved. This is scale without sprawl, governance without gridlock, and autonomy without burden. This is Platform Engineering Done Right. 